Hi, my name is Harley Quinn Smith. Thank you for watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Hanging out with Harley Quinn Smith. Hello. Hi. <laughs> do you like your the full three names? Or? Yes. You do. Go for the all three of them. Go for <laughs> it. Cool. Okay, we're gonna play a game. All right, guys, we're gonna play Holly Words with Harley Words. No yes. kidding. <laughs> okay, go ahead and spin it. Oh my gosh. Netflix and chill. Um, I literally have been watching The Office for two straight years and I've just, I've gone through, I've probably seen every episode like at least 25 times and it's just my constant, like I can't fall asleep without listening to The Office. I usually put it on while I'm in the shower, while I'm eating at home, like all the time. Um, but my friend and I are also like obsessed with the show You right now. So good. It's so like freaky, but also like really funny and I love it. <laughs> um, also sex education is really funny. I haven't started that one yet. It is really good. Okay, shall awesome. I, yeah. Shall I go again? <laughs> Definitely. Embarrassing fan moment? The place I get recognized the most is Disneyland. Somebody like took a picture of me like slumped over eating a Red Bull. Like I have multiple fat rolls like hanging out because I'm like stuffing my face and posted it like anonymously. And I was like, what the <laughs> hell, man? Uh, you didn't want to like come up and say hello or something. Um, so that was that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, wait till you're done eating. Like I know. I was like, okay, maybe wait till I'm done. <laughs> Is it still up? Can I we think please so. take that down? Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's spin it one more time. Okay. Yay. This game is fun. I like it. <laughs> Last meal. Uh, I just. It sounds so. Uh, so basic, but I just had avocado toast <laughs> and a it. smoothie. That's like so basic sounding, but um, well, where from? Um, it's called the Juice Parlor. Okay, it's in uh, North Hollywood. It's really good. And we were talking about all your animals. Yes. And you have how many again? I have Seven? three dogs, a rabbit. I have three turtles, and I have eight fish. Which one is your favorite? My rabbits, my my baby. All like um, all my dogs and and the turtles and everything are, are my family's pets. Okay, so random game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to say all of their names. All of their names? All of the names, okay. ready? Yes, go. Uh, Cinnamon Bun, uh, Bluey, Shecky, Marty, uh, Hannah, Montana, the other turtle doesn't have a name, <laughs> and the fish are too many. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, so you're in this cool movie. Yeah. All these small moments. <laughs> yes. Uh, tell me about that from your point of view. Um, All These Small Moments is a coming of age story about uh, a boy named Howie, played by Brendan Meyer, and the film kind of circles all the people in his life. And what was it like working with that cast? Because you worked with the cult classic movie Queen. Yes. <laughs> Molly uh, um, at Tribeca, she had told me that she that I reminded her of her younger self, and that was that was a. a very cry-worthy moment. <laughs> Huge compliment. Yes, the, the best compliment I've ever received. <laughs> amazing. So I did get to see some clips. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, your scenes are super cute. What is your character like? Because I remember he tells you about his shark story, which is like super deep, and then you're like, I'll, give, I'll bring you a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would describe Lindsay as um, She's she's secure with herself now and and happy with herself and is just really longing to make a genuine connection with somebody, which is Howie. Yeah. Yeah. So, have yeah. you seen the full thing yet? I have. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I I really like it. I'm really proud of it. It's the first film that I've ever done outside of my family. Um, so. It holds a really, really special place in my heart. Okay, you're also in this pretty cool movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> Directed by Quentin Tarantino. What was that experience like? Quentin is a is a dream director, and I have looked up to him for my whole life, basically. And mm. um, I I want to be a filmmaker as well. So working with him 
was just the biggest learning lesson I could have ever had. Do you mean um, you want to get into directing? Yeah, I, I, oh, awesome. I want to write and direct my own films starting ASAP. <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it like being directed by your dad? He doesn't really treat me differently than anybody else. Um, it's it's different in the sense that it's like, oh, okay, we can drive home together at the end of the day, but it's also not that different because he treats me the same. Um, and then he directed you in Yoga Hosers, which you got to act in with your friends. Like, do you have one moment or a funny moment that you remember being, like, while on set? Oh, it was all just, like, a series of funny moments. Um, it, it was it was truly a once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing to be able to work with a best friend and your family and their family. It was really cool. We, we just uh, spent so much time laughing. Like, there were so many times where we were trying to get a shot done and we couldn't because we just could not stop cracking up um, over some somebody that day. Um, so, yeah, just lots of laughter for like months. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks, guys. For what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.